हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप आई ए एस द बिग न्यूज फॉर टुडे इज दैट अ बिग ब्रेक थ्रू हैज बीन अनाउंस्ड बाय द साइंटिस्ट इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका सेइंग दैट दे हैव अचीव्ड अ बिग बिग ब्रेक थ्रू इन द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द ब्रेक थ्रू वॉट इज द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इज इट द फ्यूचर दैट द एंटायर वर्ल्ड हैज बीन वेटिंग फॉर बिफोर वी डू दैट अ रिमाइंडर I hope all of you by now are a part of our Telegram channel. If you have still not joined this, use the link given in the description of the video to join the Telegram channel and get all the latest current affairs updates about the UPSC examination. Now, as you know, as we woke up today, the entire world is talking about one single news. That is, the researchers in the US have announced a historic nuclear fusion breakthrough. Now, before you think that this is some kind of a technology that will revolutionize the entire living beings. this is not true first let me give you a disclaimer this does not mean that we are anywhere closer to nuclear fusion nuclear fusion on a commercial scale will still take a lot of time also this is not the first time that any such breakthrough has happened these kind of small breakthroughs have taken place in other nations as well for example a few months back in the uk also something similar took place but just because us has done this for the first time so they have projected it as a big breakthrough i'm not saying this is insignificant but yes this is not the first time that such kind of a breakthrough has happened now i'm sure all of you are very well aware that there are multiple ways of generating energy from nuclear processes one is nuclear fission that is used all around the world all the nuclear power plants that we have are nuclear fission nuclear fusion is another technology where the scientists have still not been able to control this technology on a commercial scale fission means splitting of a larger atoms into two small atoms that releases a lot of energy fusion on the other hand means combining two smaller atoms into a larger one that generates even more energy nuclear fusion is said to be the process for the future because this is where we would not have any nuclear waste this is where the energy generated would be much much higher as compared to nuclear fusion in fact if you look at the stars the sun all of these produce their energy with the help of nuclear fusion only the scientists around the world have been trying to learn more about fusion since 1950s but it is still at an experimental stage because there are a lot of limitations and we'll discuss about those in just a bit usually the fusion of two nuclei into a heavier isotope of hydrogen called tritium is what is experimented upon in nuclear fusion reactions it will produce at least four times as much energy as nuclear fission and will be a carbon free source of energy without any radiation risk that is why the entire world is looking forward to that this is a diagram that tells you what has happened in the us right now the experiment that has been conducted in the us is from lawrence livermore national laboratory where they have announced that they have successfully produced more energy than the amount of energy that they have actually used up in the experiment in short the outcome of the energy is more than the input of the energy in this particular case the good part about nuclear fusion is deuterium that is used as an input in this experiment can be very easily extracted from sea water tritium which will be made from lithium is also found in earth's crust so the input material for this kind of a reaction is not in short supply which is the case with nuclear fission which is why uranium has become such a valued material throughout the entire world in this experiment as i told you the researchers put in 2.05 megajoules of laser energy and in the output they got 3.15 megajoules which is about a 50% gain which is a sign that nuclear fusion has successfully been achieved although at a very small scale now there is a reason why the nuclear fusion reactions have been experimented for a long time but they have not been successful the reason being that there are a lot of limitations that play a major role in nuclear fusion for example in order to have successful nuclear fusion reactions you need extremely high temperatures in fact they require 10 times the temperature that exists at the core of the sun creating such extreme environment within a laboratory is very very difficult the energy release in such experiments of nuclear fusion will also be much much higher as compared to nuclear fission so how to control that to ensure that it does not go out of control is also a big challenge in fact 
That is why this small experiment in California has been considered as such a big deal. As you can see, it did not really have a lot of energy output, but it did certainly prove the fact that we are on the right track. As I told you in the beginning with the disclaimer that although this experiment was a success, commercial fusion is still a long, long way away. The reason being that there are different ways in which you would have to input a lot of energy to increase the temperature to such an extent that nuclear fusion becomes a reality. Usually, there are two ways in which such high energy is supplied. First is with the use of high energy laser beams. This is used to increase the temperature in a process called inertial fusion. In fact, this is the technology that was used by the US in this experiment in California. The next option which has been used in an experiment called ITER is by the help of strong magnetic fields. Now, I'm sure you might be aware of the ITER concept. This is an experiment which has been going on for multiple years now, where nations around the world, including India, have been collaborating to get a breakthrough in the nuclear fusion technology. In their experiment in southern France, they have been trying to increase the temperature within the lab using very strong magnetic fields, which is the second way in which you can achieve the temperature required for nuclear fusion around the world. The ITER project is said to be the project which is the farthest in the race to actually achieve the nuclear fusion goal. This project is said to be on its way to demonstrate the success of nuclear fusion somewhere between 2035 and 2040. There are multiple nations that are working together in this project, which includes India as well. Then there are other nations such as China, Japan, UK, South Korea, etc. US also is a part of this. But apart from this collaborative experiment, there are nations such as US and China that have been undertaking their individual studies as well as we have seen with the US coming up with this breakthrough. The reason being that this is a joint collaborative effort. So any outcome from this particular effort would actually be used by every single one. On the other hand, if the countries come up with their own individual experiments, with their own individual studies, they also know that they can use that individually. So every country in their own national interest is actually trying to develop their own technology so that they can use it in their weapons, they can use it as a technology that they can then sell to other countries. And that is why US, China, all of these are undertaking their own nuclear experiments. The ITER, as you know, stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. This is a huge experimental project that has been set up in southern France. Recently, there were talks that this project might be delayed because out of all the countries that are working together, Russia is also one of them. So everyone is contributing something because now Russia's relationship with the other nations has soured because of the Ukraine-Russia war. Now, the countries are trying to find an alternative to Russia. That is, the things that Russia had to provide earlier, now they are seeing which country would be able to provide the same kind of things to actually get the experiment moving. That is why it is said that the ITER project might be slightly delayed now. As I told you in the beginning, this short experiment is not the first time ever that we have had such a breakthrough in nuclear fusion. We have also had a similar kind of a thing in UK as well in last December, where UK had announced that they have improved their previous record of generating energy from nuclear fusion reaction. The reaction in UK had gone on for about 5 seconds and produced 59 megajoules of energy, which is more than double the previous experiment that they had conducted. In UK also, they tried to raise the temperature by using the same technology that is of the high energy laser beams only, the same one that has been done in the US. The ITER project on the other hand is on a much, much larger scale. It is designed to run for about 3000 seconds as compared to the few seconds that the current projects are actually running. It is expected that the ITER project at its full capacity might produce five times the energy that it would consume. That is why the ITER project will be a groundbreaking discovery once it is done. When it is operational completely, the ITER would become the biggest machine anywhere in the entire world, even more complex than the Large Hadron Collider or the LIGO project that is used to detect the gravitational waves around the entire world. 
This is it for today's big news. I hope you learned a lot of new things today. Here's hoping that the new discoveries in the nuclear fusion field will actually bring in a much required change in the way that nuclear energy has been used around the entire world. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.